What a banner day for the girls soccer season out there as we wrapped up with championship Friday out of county. Didn't have a tournament last year, so here we are. Champions crown on the final day in the 3A. It was a CIML showdown. Ankeny Valley, the fans there. Literally fans with the fans for Ankeny. They didn't play in the regular season, so who would win today? Penalty kick early for Valley, and it's Katie Johnson burying one in the back of the net. So Valley has that one nothing lead, and from there, they turn to their defense, which just dominated. Ankeny never got a clean look pretty much all game. Closing minutes, still nothing for Ankeny, and that's it. one nothing. It is the Valley Tigers. First one since 2010. Another trophy for their case. It, I can't even describe it. It's it pure bliss, honestly. Yeah, it is. It feels great. Like, Everybody earned it. We all worked our butts off. Bad for our seniors last year. We had a quality team last year. I really felt like we could have won it all. And uh, to get this this year, not only for our team, but also for those guys, really means a lot for our school. And Elgin Rucker has more from County. The story of this year's girls state championship for Class 1A is reminiscent of another story that I'm sure Des Moines Christian knows pretty well. David versus Goliath. First ever trip to the state championship for the Lions. Fifth straight championship game with four wins in a row for their opponent, Assumption. But do you love t-shirts? All right, it's game time. First half and everything was going right for the defending champs. This ball gets away from the Knights, but Sam Skodeller tracks it down and sends it where the money resides, right through the net for the goal. And that would be a huge one for Assumption as they take a one nothing lead. Second half, same score, Lions fighting for a chance to tie it up, and Megan Miller makes Assumption work for that save. That goalkeeper breathing a sigh of relief, a good try for Miller. Lions keeping their spirits high with time running down in the second half, but with about 30 seconds to go, it's a dagger for the Knights. Skodeller again finds the back of the net for her second goal of the game, the only goals of the game. Lions fall too shy of slaying the 1A giant. That is Assumption as the Knights win their 11th state title as a program, the most in state history. Final score, 2-0. You know, Davenport's Assumption, they're, they're a great team. Um, there's no shame in this loss, absolutely no shame. I legitimately thought we had a shot all the way through, so hopefully there's some respect for us. Dallas Center Grimes and Waverly Shell Rock both looking for its program's first state title in the Class 2A championship. First few minutes of the opening half and Waverly Shell Rock's Kinsey Rowling makes her presence known. Go Hawks on the board first, thanks to the future Iowa Hawkeye, but give credit to DCG. They came right back in the first half and responded. Ella Forsythe cuts to the goal and is there for the tip in. Mustangs tied up at one, but from there it was all Go Hawks. They score three goals in the first half, including this laser shot from Anna Stromberg past three defenders but the number of the day is four. That's four goals from Kenzie Rowling in the title game. Her eighth goal of the tournament. Waverly Shell Rock rocks Dallas Center Grimes for the 2A championship. Final score, five to one. Reporting from County Soccer Park for the state tournament, Elgin Rucker, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.